Welcome back. It's uh, Caveman from 123-Caveman on eBay. And uh, I've got a video here in reference to Carrera Go Tracks once again. Um, there may have been some confusion before, but I'm going to take and straighten that up um, with this here video. And I've got some other information and also um, some other tests that I have run uh, to take and not so much prove my point, but prove to the person that might make the change on their own track to take and uh, run some other cars on it and also have a little bit more control um, and also learn some other things that I didn't even actually realize until I uh, puttered around with it and um, uh, came up with a lot of different results and then I've got a, uh, a couple other tests that I'll take and show you that I haven't shown you before but I'm going to start off with the Carrera Go Transformer I popped the cover um, off of this one here and the reason that I did that is just to point some things out one, there's a lot of electronics for just a simple transformer, but um, this transformer is as small as it can take and be. It's not much bigger. The core is not much bigger than my thumbnail. And what you'll see down here is where these wires come out that give us the simulation of two different wires running to the track, like two different inputs, like it's a little fancier than, you know, than the run-of-the-mill single, you know, connection wire. Um, these both connect to the same exact junction down there. Um, I'm going to rip this thing completely apart right now. It still works and I can pop it together. But the thing is is that these wires connect to one spot in there. There's not two transformers. There's one. It's a very small transformer and that should take and point something out. Um, I didn't break open an art in one or etc because I don't really need to take and do that. This is plenty of enough uh, explanation as far as the size of the transformer doesn't mean it's bad it just means it's a very low amperage um, transformer so again you know they make it look like there's two transformers possibly inside this box just coming up with one plug two transformers in two sets of wires coming out meaning maybe two of these but there's only one um, I'm not really sure what all that electronics is supposed to actually do but that's quite a bit for just a small simple slot car track Anyway, um, that's about all I'm going to take and show you on that. That's just showing you what's inside of one of these. Um, if you want to pull one apart yourself, you can take and carefully tap a screwdriver into the side. It will take and break just a little teeny bit and just kind of ease around it. You'll take and do that, but be careful because this is where the AC is at. Make sure it's not plugged in, things like that. You could hurt yourself. Um, so could I if I wasn't careful. Anyway, I'm going to get right to the test and I'm going to take and show the different cars and stuff and then I'm going to show exactly uh, what gets done to the Carrera uh, Go Track input track in order to take and um, uh, hook another transformer up to it and also use your controller. At least that's what I'm finding so far. But we're going to take and find out as we go along here and uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, um, so right now I have a Carrera Go Transformer connected to this track and uh, I'm going to start right out with the, uh, I think it's called spin track. Anyway, this is a car that you take and use when you take and uh, have one of those with the, the wind-up controllers that just take and turn round and round. And they don't take and produce a lot of power or anything like that. I've had people take and buy um, art and cars to take and run on their spin track car or tracks. The track itself is fine, but the cars... They're not going to take and move with just spinning that controller. <clears throat> but what I did take and find out that more than likely, and that'll be another test later, is you may take and be able to run some of these cars on the spin track uh, tracks, even though they're just a crank, um, because these cars here seem to take and react pretty decently to this transformer. So this is a spin track, and it's operated off of a uh, a Carrera Go transformer. And I'm, let's see here if I got my hands in the right place to show this. Okay. Um, just sh showing the, the button. I'm not really flooring it or anything like that. Uh, and the turbo, you know, does work. Okay. Um, this is an SEX car, which I expected to take and run. And it does. And, of course, the turbo button on it also works. A Carrera car. All right. That one there usually came with a set that was powered by batteries. But um, it also runs about basically about the same as far as it goes, and the turbo also works with it. Uh, this is an older Carrera car, just one that I collected, and of course it's going to take and run the same way. But it looks like the brushes are a little shaky on there. Let me readjust them a little bit. 
so and once again the turbo works just fine um, so I've done the Carrera the spin track the SAX car now what I found is the newer Arten cars or at least they appear to take and be Arten cars um, and I'm finding something out that the motor may take and slip in there from a standard Arten car but um, that motor that's inside there is wound differently it is wound to take and take off at a little bit different voltage it doesn't use as many amps and when I take and lift these two cars up they feel about the same weight but this is an Arten car from one of the newer tracks and I, I, I don't want to take and say for sure but every car that I've seen from the newer tracks they have a, uh, a yellow guide pin this red one I put in there um, that's from a power passer and it does a very good job but um, Arten doesn't at least I have not found replacement guide pins for them not unless they come with the sets um, I haven't even noticed them in the sets themselves so um, anyway this is an Arten car and as you can see it runs a track and also but when I push when I push the turbo it doesn't take and do a whole lot but I can take and make the car run it just doesn't have you know the power to take and you know go that was almost full blast and it you know it hung the track pretty good this is your standard run-of-the-mill Arten car the same basic setup that you would have from day one of Arten's uh, it's it's pretty much the same darn motor chassis are a little bit different as they went along but um, uh, this here reflects one of the type of cars that I take and sell and you can see it will not move okay now I'm gonna pick it up it's, it's, it's running but when I hit the, the turbo it says no I'm not gonna do that just like the other art and car okay and even if I lifted it up get it full blast and let go of it it would just go and stop I'm gonna do that one more time and watch the controller and it stopped left less than a foot away okay so once again these cars the SCX the spin track the Carrera and the newer Arten would run but no control with the turbo okay now I've taken one of the tracks apart this one here and I left the bottom off of it let me make sure I get around here the right way but inside okay there's a cover that comes off of this and it looks like this now the this one here just kind of popped off you just kind of ease it around and it pops off take that off and this here circuit board that goes down in there normally has a resistor here a resistor here and a few different I think there's four capacitors that, that line up through here you can take and just cut those off all right um, the resistors and the capacitors just using a pair of cutters just take and go up to the the resistor and top cut it off cut it off and so on and these two jumpers were not there before this black one and let me take and see if I can get a little bit better light on this um, now it's a whole lot better light okay so and this is the most important part what you'll take and see here and if I if you pause your video you can see exactly where it goes but you have one wire that starts here on the right hand side when this thing is upside down and it goes over not to the first one not and then to the second one right there there's just a little square right there and that's where everything hooks up okay on the other side it's not exactly the same what you'll take and find out is the third link over right there is you'll connect it there skip one and go to the next one and then put your jumper in so let me bend that down just a teeny bit so now that you can see that just a little bit better see it's probably as close as I can get and I'm just gonna hold it there so that you can pause your video and look exactly where those jumpers go and when you pull yours out you'll find out that those capacitors and the trans or excuse me the resistors are in there so go ahead and take and just clip those out um, once again that's if you want to take and do this other as far as taking and running the older style art cars and also give it a little bit more guts as far as to the track now that's all I've done this one here says cars on it but it is made by Carrera and it's Carrera go track so all I'm going to take and do now is pull these here out I'm not going to move them far at all and ease this track apart 
like so. Set that right over there. This is the one I got to be a little careful because I didn't put the bottom back on there yet. Um, ease that in there. Okay, get coordinated now. All right. There's that. And on this side, same thing. Okay. Now I haven't changed the transformer or nothing like that. And all I'm going to take and do is now plug it back in. All right. So basically we have the same setup again. Um, the only difference is this, this here track that I took and connected to it. Let's see here. And let's start again. Same exact track. Um, same part. But what you'll notice, that thing has a lot more power. has a lot of guts to it. All right. Um, same thing here. Well, that was catching on something in the track there. Um, usually, the SCX would not take and do a big burnout. Um, so let's try it again. So, it has more than enough power, okay, without even taking and, um, no turbo, nothing like that. And you can spin it out really easy. Uh, the Korea car should take and react the same way. <laughs> make a liar out of it. Uh, make a big liar out of me. No, what's going on there? Okay, we got a crazy car here. Let's see what's happening. Now that's interesting. What do we got going on here? Oh, I know what's going on. Probably this here slid down a little bit. I'm going to presume. Yep, that's what it was. Okay, let's go to this one here. And you can see it has no problem running. And you know what? I've got a lot more control on that. I'm not messing with the turbo. And uh, has plenty of power. Same thing with this other career, which I expect it to take and react the same exact way. And, all right, we're going to go with the newer Steyr Arten, and it has no problem. Plenty of power. Again, folks, this is still with the Carrera Go Transformer. I'm going to put the regular old-fashioned Arten on there. Look at it. Just doesn't want to take and do it. It's got some kind of pulsation going there. And... You know, I can't be sure, but all that electronics that's in that transformer is doing something to take and not let that car have the power. Now, did they do that all on purpose? I kind of doubt it, I don't think. But that's as fast as it's going to take and go. And that's pretty weird. Okay? So, what I'm going to take and do is I have a uh, unit over here, which is a, um, a power supply that I purchased. And... Actually, this power supply, I'm going to show you real quick, um, was less expensive than I thought it would take and be. And when I take and post the video, I will put a, um, a link in there. But this particular power supply here is 10 amps, and um, it's got variable voltage control, current, the whole nine yards. tells you exactly how much car, uh, current a car is pulling what might be happening on the track and you can take and um, adjust the voltage let's see if I can do all this here with by myself but the voltage can go up and you know you can take and turn it way up or you can turn it way back down and this here for as far as current that's just a reading on how much is it's actually drawing and I'm not doing this video very good Jesus. okay anyway the adjustment for the voltage okay can be coarse all right, no load on it and stuff. It'll probably take and jump right up there. I think it's supposed to be 20 volts, but it goes a little higher. And you can take and adjust it down even, you know, just a teeny bit with a fine controller. This here will take and show the amount of current that something's drawing. And we'll go through that in just a minute. Um, but anyway, that's the transformer I'm going to take and use. And what I'm going to take and do is readjust this a little bit. And it's going to be probably... 
maybe a little harder to see, but I'm going to have to move it probably into the center of the track. Something like this here. Unplug it from here, run it up under the track, just for reference. Uh, it's about the only way that I can take and go about doing this without um, and not letting you take and see what exactly is going on. I could have done a sprout before, but with that in the, the way and stuff, it would have maybe confused people, and they would have been looking at it more than they would have been looking at anything else. And I was trying not to take and go there. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to take and do is remove the um, Carrera Transformer completely out of the way. Alright, and I have a Carrera plug that I adapted for this set. And right now it's way up on 18, but we're going to take and turn it down. First, we're just going to put it at about 10, which is actually four or five volts less than what the uh, Carrera is indicating that it's supposed to take and be using. So let's see here if I've got this thing aimed right, not even close. So some of it you'll take and see. Uh, parts of it you won't, but I want to take and give you a good visual of the actual meter um, on the front of this power supply. And again, this power supply, very nice unit, and it's 59 I think it was $58, $59, and it had uh, free shipping. It wasn't a bad buy. I wanted to take and get it just to see how good it was. Seems to be working pretty darn good. So the first thing I want to take and do is, um, is go ahead and put a Carrera car on there. And let's see if I have this thing all hooked up right. And we're running, like I say, 10 volts. All right, I'm gonna take the car at a slow speed. And you can see it's pulling about, it's not an amp, it's 0.16 amp, okay, at a slow speed, all right? And of course, if you take and rev it up, and this car is really getting great traction, so it's, it's dragging a little bit, but it, it's not pushing a half amp, maybe about 0.4. Um, so that's the draw on that car. Uh, let's see how this one does here. Another career should do about the same. Yep, it's about the same. 0.15 at a slow speed. Okay, we're just going to keep it at that voltage for now. Um, and if I take and put pressure on it, you know, about 0.4. Um, so, and also the <laughs> size of those tires and things really do take and bite. Um, okay. This spin track car. I'm going to try to keep it at a slow speed. And you can see it's about the same. 0.1415. Same voltage, nothing's changing. Take and pull it up here and hit it. Once again at full throttle, 0.4. Now we're going to try an SCX. After I adjust the, the guides on it here and don't destroy the track. I'm going to do about the same thing. It's using a little teeny bit less. Actually using quite a bit less. Nah, well, it's very close. 0.112 compared to 0.14, uh, which is hardly anything at all different. So right now we've done all the cars that would normally take and run on the Carrera track in the first place. And what we're going to take and do now is take and put on one of the newer Arton cars, not the old style, the newer ones. We're going to do about the same thing, all right? So right now, we're at about 0 0.22. A little higher, but not a whole lot more. Same exact voltage, okay? And then we're going to put on the old, old style, if you will, even though there's a lot of new cars. I sell a ton of new cars. Um, Arton. Okay, it's not even moving yet. See? It takes point... I'm trying to take and get it. I'm trying to get it to read just right here. That doesn't mean every art and car, the older ones are going to be exactly. 0.22. 